Right, what's happening today is that we've gave the students a brief a couple of weeks ago whereby they, have, they were given three sheets of card and they have to make a chair out of the three sheets of card. Ideally without glue or tape. So essentially it's about the process of how the chair looks, um, the inherent qualities of the material, the strength of the cardboard in different directions and basically how the actual functionality will work with regard to the form. So today, hopefully, it's the crit. Everyone's finished. Well, some of them are finished, some are kind of still doing it, but they'll get there. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Have you done all your cutting? Cool. But really, it's trying to enable the students to go down the process in their own way, but teasing out of them some of the issues. So for this morning, for example, some of the students have been asking questions like, well, how, this isn't working. And you say, well, why isn't it working? Okay, what can you do to make that work? I mean, the classic is the connections. How does the different elements of cardboard go together? Um, I know from experience that that's going to work and that's not, but it's kind of have to tread a fine line between, not, you don't want to give them the answer, you want them to find that out for themselves. And those that end up on the floor when the chair collapses will be the ones that haven't really discovered it for themselves. So this is very much um, cut whilst we make, in a way. It's like, I've yeah. cut this length, I'm not entirely sure how long it's going to be, but I'll, right, so you know to cut that right. It's the process, and kind of, I think all of us are interested in the protest, process. Joe and I have, this morning, been quite intrigued to see people's sketchbooks <laughs> and to see how one idea can develop into something else. And some of the students have had a very clear idea from the very start how they want to do it and you know this is my design and they've made that work and in a way that's that's quite kind of dogmatic I am doing this and it's and but other students have been very trying out different ideas and they're still trying out different ideas so we want to see the process there's nothing wrong in it not working per se it's so long as they understand the reasons why and going forward it's like okay that doesn't work but that bit does why doesn't that work and how would I do it differently in the future and um, so we're very much as interested in the process as we are in the final result. Like you just do it randomly, you don't hold the same direction, then just do it randomly. Yeah, I think the first one is understanding the, the qualities of the material. So cardboard is strong in one direction and not another. So for example, if you imagine a roll of cardboard and you have to sit on it, it's actually quite strong going that way. But then a sheet of cardboard is quite, quite weak in that direction. So the strength of corrugation, things like that. Um, model making skills, so each of the students will have to have understood the, um, the notion of scale. So they'd be setting out how they're going to build the chair in small scale in model and then um, creating the models at scale before they actually go and make the final cut, if you like, with the big sheet of cardboard. So that basically model making skills, scale, um, functionality and appreciation for um, measurements, the measurements of them and the relationship of that with the actual final design and form of the chair. So what's, what, what are the implications if he takes out the square, if he cuts a hole in it there? You can put your feet in it as well. You can put your feet in it there. But you wouldn't be able to put your feet in there because of that, right? Unless well. you sat on it there and put your feet there, like a little footrest. Well, this is a microcosm for something that gets bigger, isn't it? You know, start small and get, get bigger because all the inherent qualities of what you need to do as an architect, you know, understand a brief, understand the requirements um, of the final form are in here, albeit on a smaller scale. So, yeah, so hopefully the next one will be a slightly bigger building, I think. No, I'm not going to say that. I'll see you the eh? How's that? It's a first year course, first week of a first year course. So, I, it's pretty intense architecture. You just get in and get on with it, but it's something that you love. You know, either love or you don't love it, and, you know. And, these guys will um, hopefully, as the course progresses, they'll, they'll be developing all kinds of different skills. And yeah, it's in at the deep end. <laughs>